So, The Flash's CGI is pretty god-awful. Oh shit. The movie's finally made its way to home release, so I can actually make videos using clips from it without YouTube sending my channel to the Shadow Realm. But the best part about all this is that my remote has a pause button, and you best believe I abuse the hell out of it every time a questionable piece of CG graced my television screen. Holy Jesus. What is that? For example, just about every Batman scene where it looks like Ben Affleck's face was copy-pasted into his cowl. Hell, even Barry's own face looks a bit uncanny sometimes. And he's the main character. No! 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 Now the director has come out to defend his claymation Nintendo 64 graphics by saying that it's intentional. You know, the Speed Force warps reality in ways our eyes can't make sense of. The problem is that these babies were looking a little funky before any force or speed enters the equation. Hell, the Flash's final act against Zod is supposed to be a CGI powerhouse that was spoiled in damn near every trailer in the movie's marketing. And even that is absolutely drowning in lazy oversights and unfinished green screen effects. It's hella embarrassing because it just comes across as the movie having completely blown through its budget. I'm not normally the kind of guy to critique bad CGI in a movie, but the Flash just makes it so obvious you can't possibly miss this kind of stuff when it's right in your face. There's an entire segment towards the end of the movie where we get cameos of every Superman, Flash, and Supergirl interpretation over the decades. And it's like someone fed a kid a pound of cotton candy and strapped him to a carnival ride. Appalling CGI just vomits itself over your screen and you're supposed to clap because it tickles your member berries. It's kind of funny if you've been following DC over the past few years because it tries to put so much respect on Superman's name when DC has been doing nothing but trying to cut any trace of Superman from its universe. But anyway, let's hear your thoughts on the situation in the comments. Is the Flash's CG a deal breaker for you, or can you stomach it long enough to see that the ending won't even matter two years from now? This is that guy, and I'm out of here.